So today we're going to tie, it's a simple craft for streamer, um, it's designed for, for bass um, and the unique thing about it is that it's finished off with one of these Flyman fish masks which makes the whole job very very easy um, but it's a generic sort of tying style that you could, um, I mean this is designed for bass but you could do stuff for freshwater fish with it as well. Um, okay so let me show you how to tie it. So the hook we're going to use for this is a Gamakatsu SL12. Um, nice strong hook. Uh, I'm tying it this size because it's ideal for fishing uh, for bass off a boat. Um, so first things first, I'm going to attach the thread. I'm using a GSP thread, um, it's nice and strong. Um, okay, so attach the thread. And the first thing we need to do is tie in a, a tail of craft fur. So I like to finish, start roughly in line with the hook point. So the first thing I do is I tie in a bunch of white craft fur. Okay. So here we go. And then once that's tied in, we then need to put some flash around it. So, firstly I use some uh, silver flash over it. I'm just gonna mess this up, make, the, make them all different lengths. Okay. So tie it on, on my side first. And then just fold it around and tie it on the other side too. Okay, and then it's just some pearl crystal flash. Uh, this one's micro, but any uh, any crystal flash would do. So again, just tie it in on my side first, and then we'll fold it around onto the other side. Okay. There we go. Okay, so the next stage, we just need to tie some craft fur in that makes the wing um, and we tie this craft fur in facing forwards first and then we use the fish mask to push it backwards. Okay so firstly I'll just measure this up just to make sure that when it's folded back it's going to be roughly the right length. Okay so that is going to work. So we tie the chartreuse in on top of the hook shank make sure it's nice and secure and then we can just shave away some of these butts here. Okay. Make that nice and secure, that's good. So now we do the same with the white on the underside. So we just turn the hook around. Okay. And we just securely tie in this bunch of white craft fur on the bottom. Okay. Make sure it's nice and secure. Hold the flash out of the way. And then we just cut that at a slight angle. Okay. So once this is all secure, just turn the vise back around. And then we just do a simple dub body. So for the body, um, you can use something like um, pearl eye stub. Um, this onto the thread. Okay, so wind this onto the body. This is effectively going to be hidden by all the craft fur anyway. Um, just a little bit more. And then once you finish that, just make sure that's secure. Just apply some super glue to the thread. Next few turns, and then just whip finish. Okay. Right. 
before we finish the fly, I just like to brush the body with some uh, Velcro. Okay. Let's just sort that out. Okay. Right, now we need to um, get ready to fold all of this back. Just fold that roughly back into place and then just check that the fish mask fits on okay, which that does. Okay, so once you're there, we then take our super glue again, just apply some super glue to the front of the coral fur. And then we take our fish mask and we push it on quite firmly. Just hold that in place for a second or two. Okay. So that is effectively the fly completed. We just need to um, stick on the eyes and uh, secure them in place with some UV resin. Okay, so uh, now we need to fix the eyes in place. So this is a size six fish mask. So it takes uh, six millimeter eyes. So I've got some eyes here already. Um, first thing, just a drop of super glue in the center of the um, cavity that takes the eye. Just get your eye and just drop it in the center. And then just touch it with your finger just to make it stick. Okay. Then we just flip it over and we do the same procedure on the other side. So just a drop of glue in the centre. Okay, and then we just drop that in the centre. Okay, that's nice and secure. Okay, so you, you could probably leave the fish mask as it is now, but I just like for a bit of extra added security, I just fill up the cavity where the eye is sitting with UV resin and cure it, and then it's completely stuck in place. Okay, so I'll just take some of the uh, fulling mill UV resin, and I just put a small amount into this cavity here. Okay, and then I just whack that with the torch. It's about 20 seconds roughly, um, 10 to 20 seconds anyway. Okay, I think that would do. You can just touch it with the back of your nail and that's perfectly fine. Okay, so we just turn that over and do the same thing on the other side. Fill this cavity up. Try not to stick air bubbles in it like I was just doing there. Okay, just let it settle for a second and then get it with the light. Again, about 10 or 20 seconds. Um, okay, there we go. That's all fine. So that's the fly finished. Um, it's a nice generic craft uh, bass fly, but finished with a fish mask.